as we move through the lesson on flight, we're going to be using paper and other light materials to make things that fly. And so as we need to go ahead and get started doing this, here's a introductory level lesson on just folding some paper. So to start out, we're going to make this box. And what you'll need is just any piece of paper. A blank white piece of paper works best, but any other piece of paper will do as well. And I'm posting this template there on Edmodo so you can uh, print it if you have it or if you just need to look at it, it's right here and you can zoom in on whatever de device you are uh, looking at this on. So here we go. Piece of paper. All right, so your first step, uh, go ahead and get the directions ready if you need them or you can just follow along. So you're going to fold it across to make a perfect square. We have to make a perfect square out of the paper and you just simply do that by lining up one fold straight across. And then we're going to mark this line where the paper touches because we got to get rid of this extra little rectangle of paper there. So you fold it over, make a nice crease that makes it easier to cut. So you just go ahead and cut it Actually, I'm going to open it up a little bit because I don't want to cut the other piece underneath. So you just cut that out. So that's step zero, actually, to, to get your square piece of paper. It's not on the template, but we're moving on to step one. And step one is you've already folded over once. Now you're going to open it and fold it the other direction. And this is beginning step one off of the template. So you fold it across, and when you open it up, you'll have a cross down the middle that you can line with a piece of paper. Although it's kind of sloppy, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a ruler and make it a little bit nicer. When you're folding paper, the more accurate you are with the folds and the more precision you put into the engineering of it, the better these things come out. All right, so now we have this nice square, and what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it and look at it, and we're going to find one of the corners, and we're bending one of the corners into the center of the cross we just made, and then we fold the next corner, fold that into the center, and so on. until we folded all four corners. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. We've just finished step two where we folded all the sides in and we have a perfect square. Now we're moving on to step three. And what we'll do for step three is we have this middle section and we're gonna take, we're gonna take one side and fold it over into the middle there and crease it down. Then we'll rotate and we'll take the other side, increase it down, try and make it as accurate as you can, it's important later, and make those creases nice and firm. All right, so you'll have something that looks like that, and you can open it up a little bit. All right, so that was step three, folding them in. We'll have a long triangle at the end of step three. Step four, step four is easy, you just unfold two of them. All right, so now we have something that looks like this. We have two in and two out. And we're going to fold one side. This is step five. So we're going to fold it into the middle again. Make that crease nice and firm. And then we'll rotate over. Do the same thing on the other side. And by the end of step five, you'll have something that looks like this. All right. The little pieces inward. All right. Now this is where it gets real tricky. So we got to fold this in, and actually I don't know how to do this part very well. Okay, so now we are on step six, and this is the really challenging step. Okay, so let's read the directions. It says, open and fold in the creases to build. So we're looking at this 
little triangle here on both sides. All right, that's what we're focusing on as we move forward. So I'm gonna have you rotate it that way. You're going to open and fold in those creases. All right, fold them in. So they're in. All right, so let me demonstrate that one more time. We have it, we, have, we just finished step five. We're looking at step six. It's gonna, we're gonna look at these triangles here. And we're going to open and press the point of that triangle and it should kind of pull the paper up. And then you grab that and you press with your thumb and there should be some creases there that we had already folded, so it should kind of fold into place. It's a very delicate step, and this is the step where I lose most people in class. So it's going to be extra hard since I'm not there to help direct you, but just one more time. Just open and press in the creases, and then the thing will come up, and then you squeeze it together, and you should have something that looks like that. That is step six. All right, so now let me demonstrate it one more time on this other side because we have to do it to this other side. This is still part of step six to do it to the other side. So we're looking at these folds there and there should be creases from the folds we did. So we're gonna open and press and then you gotta work it up so that it's folding on that bend there on the inside there. It gets a little messy. Look at mine, mine's getting messy. So I messed up, so I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna go back to the last step I had. I'm gonna increase these, these, are, these creases that are already there. I can just kind of emphasize them. And then open and press in, and it should start to fold in a little bit better. Look at that one, that, it's looking much better. Okay, so once you get one of those, then you fold it in. You're folding this set of boxes, these two boxes. All right, these two boxes are going to fold in to this first wall of the box. All right, so that's the first wall of the box. And we're gonna Rotate it around, come back, fold those same two boxes, one, two, right over the top. And gotta kind of convince it to go over sometimes, it depends. Kind of roll it a little bit, and then you crease it up. And now you've completed all seven steps. And you have one side of a box. So in order to do a full box that can close, you're going to need to do a second one. And if you do a second one, which I have already done some time ago, but I'll go through the steps again. I go across. And I go across again so I have this nice cross in the middle. And I go inward on all four corners. And then on one of the sides, I close it in, fold it in, so I end up with a rectangle. And I'm gonna um, open that up. And then I'm gonna fold the, one of the sides in, one of the sides in. And then this is a tricky bit where I open, press, and fold it over. Rotate. It's already open, so I'll just press. And over. And then it just so happens I drew some stuff on this. And the way you do that is you just open it. You'll see a square where the back is. 
right in the center of the whole folding process. These fold in. So right in the center there's this box that you could draw something on. So you would open it up and you can draw. I drew a little street scene where, because it's got a perfect vanishing point. You can do vanishing point work. Anyway, here we go. I'll kind of fit it in there. And now you have an actual box. And that is how to make a box.